Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative, and today we're going to talk about whether you should host your course in Squarespace. Squarespace is an awesome all-in-one platform. It's a one-stop shop when it comes to creating a great website and everything else that goes with it. With online courses and memberships becoming so popular recently, it's only natural to ask, can I host my course on Squarespace too? While I recommend Squarespace for almost any new business, there are a few areas that it falls short. It definitely used to really fall short when it came to hosting courses or memberships, but with the new release of member areas for Squarespace, there's definitely some improvements. So today I'm going to do my best to break down the different ways you can host a course on Squarespace, the pros and cons of each, and the alternative platforms I recommend. I will say I only recommend hosting a course on Squarespace if your website is already on Squarespace. If you don't have a website yet and all you need is a course platform, I'd maybe skip over Squarespace and go with a course specific platform. I'm going to talk about which course specific platforms I recommend at the end of this video, so hang tight for that. So let's talk about the pros of hosting your course on Squarespace. One, it's nice to have everything all under one roof. You don't have to learn another platform. You can maybe save some money by just having one platform subscription. Your course site will have the same look and feel as your website, and this keeps everything really on brand and cohesive. The pages are easy to build out. Just like regular Squarespace pages, you can add anything you want with blocks. It keeps people on your site, so they'll stay at the same URL address. They don't have to navigate all the way to a different website or platform. Now let's talk about the cons of hosting your course on Squarespace. If you're planning to use member areas to host your course on Squarespace, the three main cons I see for this are one, it's actually pretty pricey and I'll break down the costs for you soon. Two, there's no video hosting, meaning that if you want to add videos, you would need to upload them to YouTube or Vimeo first, which might again be an extra cost. Three, you can only have up to 10 courses. For most people, this is fine, but it really depends on what you're selling. This wouldn't work for us because we have about 30 templates and they each need their own course page and login. So it really depends on what you need. If you want to host your course on Squarespace and not use the member areas add on, you would need to use a password protected page. This means that everyone has to log into the same course with the same password via a simple password protected page. The cons of this are that there are no usernames or customer account details. Having the same password for everyone decreases security. It's really easy to share the password if everyone has the same password. And if the password got out or you needed to change the password for some reason, you would have to change everyone's password or update everyone on the new password. So that's quite a lot of extra admin. So let's start with the most simple solution, password protected pages on Squarespace. If you have a low end product or even a free course, using Squarespace in this one password method is fine. It can definitely work. It's a great place to start if you can't invest in other software right now. I use this method in my business for over a year and it was perfectly fine. You may be worried about the security using one password, but at the end of the day, no digital product, even with a unique password, is safe from sharing. Any passwords can easily be shared with others. I found that generally this isn't something to be too worried about because one, most people are, are pretty honest, and two, there's actually nothing you can do about it, so there's no point in worrying about it. So if you want to use password protected pages, I'll quickly show you how to set that up now. If you don't and you want to use another method, then just skip through this next part. You can easily password protect any page on your site by clicking on pages and clicking the little cog wheel icon next to the page that you want to protect. Then here under general, where it says password, add a password. Click save. And now your page is password protected. It's that easy. So you can see that there's a tiny little lock icon next to this page. And now within the page, whatever page it is on your site, you can edit this completely and you can add your videos, text, workbooks, whatever you need to add on this page. And they will be behind that password. An even more clever way of setting it up, I think, is to actually add it as a blog page. Because your password only works for one page, you can't have multiple pages behind one password. If you added multiple pages and added the same password, people are going to have to enter the password every time they go to that new page. So if you do want to split your content up a little bit by pages, I actually recommend adding a blog 
choose any layout, it doesn't matter. And then making this your course and password protecting your blog page. What you can do then is take your different blog posts and turn them into different modules. So this could be your main course page. You can edit this just like you would any other page. And then this could be your different modules or lessons and you'd edit them by editing the specific blog posts. So it's kind of the same thing. It's all behind one password again. You just add the password by opening up the blog page settings and adding a password like we just did before. But it's a little bit more clever because you can have all of these different pages, even though they're just blog pages, under the one password. So let's talk about Squarespace member areas now. Something we've all been waiting for, a way to actually add your course to Squarespace and create unique customer accounts and passwords. It seems like the perfect solution and to many people it will be. Adding a members area with Squarespace is just as easy as adding a regular page. So this is a huge benefit if you already know how to use Squarespace. It's actually really, really simple, but it's also quite scaled back. There's no fancy features and this makes it really easy to use and get set up with, but it also may be missing some features that you need. The member area add-on works with any Squarespace plan, which is great, but the pricing is a little steep for what it offers in my opinion. So let's jump into pricing. The starter plan is $9 per month, which doesn't sound so bad, but that comes with a 7% transaction fee. The core plan is $18 per month with a 3% transaction fee and the pro plan is $35 per month with a 1% transaction fee. So all of these plans include unlimited members, no ads or Squarespace branding, and you can offer discounts and promotions. But the biggest problem I see here is the transaction fees. So 7% is very steep and even on the pro plan you still have a transaction fee. When with other co course providers on the top tier plans, there's usually no transaction fee. So you would really have to calculate your pricing, estimate your sales and figure out if this is going to be saving you money or costing more. So just make sure to check out the most up-to-date pricing via Squarespace. I'll link it in the description below as the information I just stated could be updated since I filmed this. Another potentially huge problem is that they limit your member areas per plan with the max being 10 and that's on the pro plan. So for the starter plan, you get one member area, core plan, you get three member areas and on the pro you get 10. So what happens if you have more than 10? There's just no option for you. So it really depends on your business. If you have more than 10 courses, you can't use it. Another con is that you can't host your videos directly to Squarespace. So you need to actually upload them to another video service first then embed them to Squarespace. Most other course platforms have internal video hosting, which is really handy, especially because often course creators create a lot of videos. Uploading to another video service first may present extra costs too, so you definitely need to look into that. Aside from those few cons, Squarespace member areas are perfect for those of you who have under 10 courses and are already using a Squarespace website. Combining everything into one might be a big time and potentially money saver. Again, I wouldn't really recommend this unless you already have or plan to have your main website on Squarespace. If you're just looking for a course platform, I would still recommend something else. So I'm not gonna show you how to use member areas today as it's a bit of a beast. Uh, I've linked documentation below from Squarespace. They have an awesome video series that walks you through setting up everything. So definitely check that out if you're looking for some guidance there. So what other platforms do I suggest? There are a ton of other options out there when it comes to creating an online course or membership site. Most of them are DIY friendly and some of them are really affordable. If you have a higher end product or a large and potentially complicated course, I recommend investing in a course specific platform. Like I said above, these platforms are specifically built for the purpose of hosting a course or membership so they are very well equipped. Though they vary in what they offer and if you still want a regular website alongside your course, I always recommend Squarespace for that. They generally have a ton of other features that you don't realize you need or want until you get in there too. Like email marketing, landing pages, sales pages, 
advanced payment plans. These platforms are built specifically for courses and membership sites, so are often equipped with everything that you need. Okay, so here's a breakdown of my favorites slash the most popular DIY course platforms out there at the moment. Podia, this is my favorite, an awesome, super simple, easy DIY course platform. The customer service is great. It's super affordable with plans starting from $39 a month. This is what we used to host our Squarespace template kits and tutorials on. So I had to give them a big shout out. It's unlimited courses, unlimited members, no transaction fees. Um, I've had such a good experience with Podia, so I would highly recommend it, especially for beginners or people just starting because of that low price point. It is really awesome. Next up is Teachable, one of the most popular online course platforms right now, trusted by some of the biggest names in courses. Uh, it's got a medium price point with plans starting at 29, but that comes with a 5% transaction fee, or you can go up to 79 with no transaction fee. From what I've experienced myself, it is pretty similar to Podia. Next up is Thinkific, similar again to the two I just mentioned, another trusted course platform, pricing starts at 49 per month. Kartra. I've recently been hearing a lot of awesome things about Kartra. It seems to have a really good reputation and a lot included with the price. It is more expensive starting at $99 a month, but I think it has a lot included. Next up is Kajabi. Kajabi is a huge name in online course hosting and it's used by some of the biggest names in courses. It is great if you don't already have a website as you can set everything up with Kajabi. I think it's quite comparable to Kartra in that way. It's like an all-in-one platform. But if you already have your website on Squarespace or somewhere else, I probably wouldn't recommend Kajabi because it's a pretty high price point starting at $120 per month. The higher price point is reasonable if you're running your whole website on there with your landing pages and email marketing and everything, but it's not really worth it if you're just looking for the course side of things. And lastly, special mention to Memberspace. This one is only for you if you have a Squarespace website already. It's actually a course plugin that works with Squarespace and it deserves an honorable mention because this was really great before Squarespace had member areas. It was basically the equivalent of member areas. But now I would just use member areas instead because it is essentially the same. Uh, I thought I should mention it though in case it comes up in some of your searches and you wanna know what it is. If you're thinking about using member space, I'd probably just go ahead and use a member areas. So it's not a simple answer whether you should host your course on Squarespace or any of the other platforms. It really comes down to your course and your budget, weighing up all of the options, which I hope I have given you in this video. If you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.